And praise the Lord, it's good to be here today in God's presence. And um, I have just been looking in my cupboards and just sorting them out a little bit. And I've noticed uh, quite a number of boxes in the cupboards with books in them. And um, it's amazing really how many of those books I haven't read. Uh, they haven't even been opened. Uh, the seal's not even been broken on some of them. I've got a few of them here. Um, but, uh, one which is three volumes of uh, systematic theology. Never even opened them. Just uh, to pull them out. There they are. <laughs> There's three of those. Oops. But um, anyway, I'll get round to reading those. Putting them out sometime. Reading them. I also have another box here, and I've got stuff in. You know, and I'm a bit of a book fanatic. I I admit, and uh, really, I haven't got much more space to put these books but I, I've got four large books here of um, Wordsworth, John Keats, English Journey by J.B. Priestley and The Complete Angler by Isaac Walton and I've got gardening books, I know, different books anyway this is the problem I have about collecting books so I had to stop myself a while ago from buying any uh, books because it was getting a bit ridiculous I've got Oh, the road. I've got some Christian books here. The Road to Hell by David Pawson. Blessings and Curses by Derek Prince. Um, photographic books by Henry Cartier Bresson. A number of them there, and um, and so on. And then I get this magazine regularly. I'm sure you all you all have seen this one. Time magazine. I'll be quite honest, I haven't even got time to read the Time magazine. I keep, they keep mounting up. That's just a few of them. I've got loads more. And they you can see the seals. They're still in the packaging. Probably get round to reading them sometime. When I first started to get now, I was really faithful in reading them and going through them. And they're, they're very good. I, there's some good articles in them. And, uh, and I've got so many more, um, especially Christian books, that uh, I haven't even looked at. But you know when I was um, I first became a Christian after a, a while the Lord spoke to me through the Word of God and he gave me this scripture verse today what I'm going to give you now and he gave me this many many years ago and it's from Acts chapter 20 and it's verse 32 and it was Paul speaking to the church there and he said um, so now brethren I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Well God spoke to me through that verse and the words he spoke to me through that verse was that he quickened to me was um, the word of grace which is able to build you up. And he was speaking about the Bible and the Lord said to me you know I want you to spend time reading that book and you know for the first few years as a Christian I used to you know 38 chapters was just kind of peanuts and uh, the Lord through that created a real hunger and a thirst to read the Word of God and uh, that desire you have to read the Bible comes from God I remember one day God took that desire away from me just for one day and just showed me that through all the years he put that desire in me it, it had come from him if you have a hunger and a thirst to read the word, then it's from God. And if you haven't, ask him to give it you. But when God gave me that scripture, it really created in me a hunger and a thirst to read your word, uh, to read God's word. And um, so, you know, I've got all these books and magazines, and I really, this is the priority. I read this book every day. This book is read every day. Those books haven't even been read. They've not even been opened. But this is the priority. Because this is the word that feeds me, it's, it's faith food. And, uh, and I just want to encourage you today to read the Bible. Uh, Smith Wiggles was a, was a man of one book and he was called the Apostle of Faith and he performed tremendous miracles God worked through him, through his ministry. But he only had one book, the Bible, and he was always reading the Bible. Now, uh, many of you, you will probably go out to work early in the morning and you'll think, well, I haven't got enough time to... Uh, read the Bible in the morning before I go to work and many of you are disciplined where you will read the Bible before you go to work because you realize how important it is and you'll get up a little earlier and read it but I know Christians 
that uh, when they're having the breakfast they've got the Bible there on the table so when they're eating the cornflakes or the Weetabix or having the you know uh, fried eggs or whatever um, they have the Bible in front of them when they're drinking the tea and they're reading the, a few verses from scripture or, or a chapter while they're, have, while they're having the breakfast so that's a good thing to do if you don't have time and you're a bit you know you're not very good at getting up in the morning just put the Bible out in front of you on the table I just want to encourage you today remember it's, 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 I enjoy reading magazines I enjoy reading books I love books but this is the book I really love because it's God's word and this has priority over everything else so please let me encourage you read this fantastic book and it will bless you and build you up and you will grow as a Christian thank you for listening